All right, a little update on the uh, Hawk Helium sticks. Um, I guess these are the minis. They're just the two-step sticks. Um, I painted them, obviously camoed them. Um, I put some zip ties up here so they can clip onto my saddle. I like zip ties. I also had the uh, the uh, paracord here, but I like the zip tie better because it seems to stay open better. Um, so you just grab that, throw it on your hip on a or an S carabiner. Seems to clip on better. I seem to I like that a little better than I do the. Uh, for whatever reason, this I have trouble getting it to. It, it's so flexible; it, it seems to not push through the S beaner as good. Um, so what I'm doing today is swapping out the cam buckles for the tethered Versa links. Okay, these were 60 bucks. So uh, by the time I've these were, I got these on for a hundred dollars at Rogers in the spring. Uh, now I'm going to put the Versa links on. They were 60 something like that by the time you shipped them and everything they were maybe 70 something uh the only negative i've had and i've also got a uh, a shoulder uh, an old gun sling on here i just put zip ties on the steps and i just throw it over my shoulder when i walk in but the only problem i have with these is these cam buckles right here while they work great on the tree they're loud walking through the woods they are loud so switching those off, going to these uh, Versa straps, Versa links, I guess the straps are the other ones. Going to these Versa links, uh, lighter, quieter. It's got a little ball in here. I thought it'd be that hard plastic, but it's like a rubber ball. So I mean, even when it hits on the uh, the stick, it is it is silent. They, uh, this one, I've only done one. It locks on the tree really good. I've been really impressed with it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting the, the Versa links. Make sure I call them the right name. The Versa links on the rest of these hawk sticks. See how they do. Alright, so way quieter i think one of these balls like that one maybe is making a little bit of noise and then these uh, zip ties uh, that right there a little plastic on that it's probably making a little noise i may wrap it in some uh, silence tape but but walking through the woods it is way quieter straps to the tree good light a little bit lighter I mean, four of these carabiners add up and weight um, I think it's a good investment so far so good all right so i just got done uh my morning hunt i'm going after a really big mature deer so uh, i didn't want to take in my camera arm my big camera <clears throat> i have to get up there and ratchet strap that thing to the tree so i'm trying to be as silent as possible um Today I had some steps already screwed in, but I was going to show you a little bit about uh, my really uh, mobile method. Um, this afternoon I'll be using my hawk sticks with the uh, tethered uh, Versa links on there, so there's no noise to these things, and they're lighter uh, than they were with those buckles on them, so I'll be using those this afternoon. But <clears throat> you'll notice I don't have a backpack on, so I'm not I'm not backpacking anything in anymore. Um, a platform, which has always kind of been the, the problem. I've thrown it over my back with the strap. Just took a strap. Um, I got a D-ring on one side that I've stealth taped. And the other side, it's, it's looped through. Um, so I can just take the strap, hook it on there. And then I've got the pad on the flat part, my knee pad. I don't use the expensive knee, uh, knee pads, but this little thermos seat. whatever um, I try to put it on the flat part and when I fold this up I use the uh, if you unclip the carabiner I use the strap here to kind of hold it on to keep it together and something I learned today you want to make sure the buckle goes on this back side um, not on the part that will actually be on your back use this little bungee here to get it over the corner and then cinch it up strap um, and then I was running a little longer strap on this 
earlier, but it was sagging down. It's kind of bouncing off my pouches. So I shortened it up pretty good, which is just big enough to, um, to go over your head and put that pad on your back. You can kind of adjust it. And now you're walking in. That's the only thing on your back. You don't have a backpack with a bunch of stuff in it. So that, uh, and, it, and it's relatively silent. You know, you can keep this right here from banging on everything, which it hadn't been too big of an issue because I don't, I put that zip tie on there, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. If you put it here through one of the holes, it's gonna kind of sandwich between this pad and your uh, Predator XL platform. So that is what's around my back. Um, I use the suspenders. These are Dickies, $10 Amazon suspenders, cheap. Um, in my right pouch, these are tethered pouches on my right and left side. I've got my his strap, so I hang my bow and everything on it. And then inside here, headlamp, which I'm going to get a smaller headlamp from Walmart today, so that one's a little too big. And I've got two different Tacticam cameras, a head strap, and then a uh, one that I clip onto my tree. These are Tacticam wides, 5.0 wides. Um, I love to film, I love to review the footage, I love making the videos, but uh, I'm not... I don't want to carry a backpack and then I have to ratchet strap a camera arm if I can keep from it. So uh, I try to do no buckles and no straps. I mean, I, the one on my uh, platform there, I hadn't gotten rid of it yet, but other than that, I try to do no, no straps, no buckles. Um, so that's the right pouch. The left pouch is just my ropes, except for in these little pouches or little pockets on the side. A bow rope to pull up my bow. I normally keep a couple extra carabiners, like that one, and these little pouches to hang on my hiss hauler. I like having those little pouches for that um, because uh, I don't have to worry about them banging into each other. Get out of here, B. B. Um, so that's my left. It's just my ropes, my tether, my lineman rope, and then uh, my bow hanger. And I ordered this off Amazon, and it's been really uh, helpful. This is just a little, I can't call it a, a dump pouch. It's made by Tactical. I don't know. Um, but basically, I didn't want to wait on uh, tethered. Love tethered stuff, but man, they take forever to ship to you. Um, this little pouch here, it has this little noisy liner, but I cut it out. And the only part that's left is the part that cinches up when you pull this, so it'll cinch up. And this, this is basically the things that would be in my backpack. Sounded like a deer. Anyway, bottle of water, rattling antlers, grunt tube. Those are the only thing. And, and I also need to put this back in there. SD cards. And I normally keep, which I don't have it in here at the moment, freshen up some scrapes. When I'm going in, I'll check cards and, and, uh, and freshen up scrapes on my way in. I'll leave that water out. So I'll cinch that up. Over here on this side, I keep an extra um, bow rope. That's a little side pouch, just in case I ever lose mine. And over here, uh, just a little uh, wind checker. And it's got these little molly loops here. Um, I clipped my um, range finder on this molly loop and then this whole thing clips to the back of my saddle. It's got another pouch here I hadn't put anything in, but lots of storage, relatively quiet. Um, when I get to, when I get in the tree, I can take it off the back and I just clip it right on the, uh, my sis hauler, my, my hiss rope or whatever that little rope is that goes around the tree. Um, and then I've got all that stuff right here. I can just reach in and grab. Um, so with that, you can walk a ton. You're not getting uh, too hot. You're not making a ton of noise. Um, have the 5.0 remote on. If I have a hat, which this morning I dropped my hat out of the tree, my hat I keep in this pouch, or I'll put it in that um, little cheap Amazon pouch on the back. I love the tethered pouches. Um, but the problem is I can't take them off easily and put them on my tree once I get out there. So um, 
I kind of like the idea of having this cheap Amazon one that just clips on and off real quick and easy. And I still have my S beaners on both sides and one in the back for my uh, Hawk climbing sticks. So um, and then you're just carrying your bow. I got a 5.0 on my, my stabilizer and I got a 5.0 wide looking back at me on a Badger bow mount um, on my bow. So I've got, I'm hauling in four cameras four cameras and a remote um, face mask gloves I wear my gloves in uh, I normally don't wear this full mask in I just don't like the way that it it's uh, I like to be able to when I'm coming in see a little better and climbing up and down I want to see better um, I wouldn't even take this if I'm in this particular suit this uh, scent lock um, assault I think is what they're called Savannah arrow attack or something like that uh, it has a built-in face mask so I could leave this at home anyway that's quick, easy, light, um, pack in to hunt, and uh, you're not having to lug a bunch of stuff around, which is the great part about saddle hunting. Also, always make sure my, uh, I've got these pouches here on my scent lock pants. These zip pouches is where I keep my release. I always put it in a zip pouch because you never know when it's gonna, a limb's gonna grab it and pull it out or something, so I make sure my release stays in the zip pouch here. We'll put it up there for now. And then I keep a, uh, on private land, I keep a saw on this one. So in case I decide to climb a tree and it's not strapped in, it's just sitting in there. Um, if, if I decide to climb a tree that's really big or it has some limbs, um, I can um, saw a limb. I always have that with me. So only the essentials, but extremely mobile and light.